Ball CEOs trying to fatten up my block so we run slower from the popos. But you don't hear me though. I'm knowing schemes. I've been cactus, running cactus, 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 this show is sort of going to be uh, what was in the Pranksgiving show this past weekend, but then it's also going to be from another day this past weekend, because personally, I think, uh, you know, my Pranksgiving shift wasn't the best. There was still some okay stuff in there, but it was a lot of talking and a lot of ringing phones. I wasn't getting as many answers as I would have liked. So why should you guys have to suffer and sit through that? Let's start out the show with my Pranksgiving calls which happened on Thursday night, Friday morning. The entire Pranksgiving thing as a whole, though, it was pretty awesome. It lasted a few hours longer than 24 hours, and lots of fun was had. And we raised a bunch of money for some family for Christmas, some family in need, like some kid has brain cancer, and I don't know, big old sad story. It's The whole story, it's on prankcallnation.com slash fundraising. And Giad set all this up again this year. He did the same thing last year. I think we raised something like $400 for some poor family for Christmas. And that went really well. He, he bought a lot of cool uh, toys and tablets and stuff for, for some kids for Christmas. And so we're doing the same thing again this year. He set it up so we have three weeks to raise $500 for this family for Christmas. That was the goal. And we ended up raising $500 within the first three or four hours. So that was cool. If you still want to donate, though, I'm sure we'll do something with the rest of the money. Either we'll give it to that same family to really help them out, or we'll help another family. Who knows? I don't know. But if you want to donate to that, it's prankcallnation.com slash fundraising. And so far, the following people have donated. And there might be a couple at the very end of the list that I haven't put on this list yet. I'm just reading this from the webpage. But so far, we've gotten donations from Jennifer F., Palindrome, Chester F., Stalin Without the Charm, Axpa, Carla, Miss Morgan, Nate, Aaron Johnson, Mr. Clay, Alfred, a business called D&J Shipping, Craig C, Tristan B, Jim C, Kyle S. I wasn't sure if people wanted their last names on here, so I just put their last initials. Gordo, G-Man, and Nick S. And a few other people have donated since then, you know, like three or four others, but I'm too lazy to dig through my email right now and figure out who did. So thank you guys for donating to a good cause. Hopefully your donations will save the PCN hosts from karma. Karma is, of course, what this is all really about. So please donate. Save us from karma. This show is sponsored by Giad, a.k.a. Jiad. Thank you, Jiad, for supporting the show. You're the best. But yeah, besides the telethon fundraising stuff, we had lots of fun, made lots of pranks. I still haven't heard all the shows because I actually slept for a few hours, so I'm going to try and listen to those this week. By the way, I have uploaded my Pranksgiving night show to phonelosers.com slash media. That's the online media pack thing. Just go under shows and then look at the Snowplow show and look at November 28th, and you can listen to the full three hours. And you will hear a few things that you're not going to hear in this show, but you're hearing the best of stuff in this show, so why bother, right? Hello. Hi, Loring. Uh-huh. Hey, this is Kevin from the layaway department. Uh-huh. You got a, a comforter on layaway and some shoes. Right. Coffee makers. Okay, now, have you been watching the news? I'm at what? What? I'm at what? I, I don't understand what you're saying. No, you said, have I been watching the news? Right. I'm at what? What does that mean? No, I said about wood. You doubt wood? 
I said about what? Oh, this is the news in general. There was a riot at our store tonight. You don't know about the riot? No, I'm at work, so no, I, I don't. You're at work right now? Yes, sir. Where do you work? I work at the nursing home. At the what? At the nursing home. Oh, okay. Does your work require uh, talking of any sort? Because you're not too good at that, are you? <laughs> really? Well, I can't understand you. You just keep mumbling. Is it just because it's late? Oh, my God. That's me. Yeah. Well, somebody needs to say it because obviously no one's ever said it to you. Okay. Oh so, look, there was a riot here because we opened on Thanksgiving tonight. Like, we've been open and it's been crazy. It's been like Black Friday here tonight. Uh-huh. And someone got into the layaway room and they stole all your stuff. Oh, my God. But that's not our fault. And you still owe us the money. Are you serious? Yeah, and we'll send you to collections if you don't pay up. There's somebody playing on my phone. What? Oh. I said someone's playing on my phone. Oh. It can't be. No, you didn't say that. You mumbled it. So yeah, what I'm Who saying, is, what I'm saying is, uh, you're not going to get your stuff. Who is this? How much did you put on it? How much? Had, how much money did you put down? Who is this? I already told you. I'm calling from the layaway. What's your name? Kevin. You want me to put my manager Kevin. on? Because I, I shouldn't have to deal yes. with you yelling at me. Okay. This yes. Let me bullsh- see. Bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Let me find Matt. Just a minute. Drunk. Matt, are you here? Good evening, this is Matt. Hello, yes. Um, Matt, who I'm speaking with? Yeah, hi, this is Matt Hillock, the manager Which, over here. And the manager uh, where? we've had quite a situation tonight, sweetheart. At what location? I, I, at the location where your stuff was stored. Uh, let me get this. It's it's everything is a mess. You gotta understand me, all right? Mm-hmm. Me and my partner here, we got into the hooch when they started riding, and we locked ourselves in this little closet. But they got all your shit. We're just trying to let everybody know that their stuff's gone because we don't want to. Like Christmas to be ruined, you know. So what do you, you know? want me to do? What are we in? Well, we're not gonna. We're. I'm. I'm doing above and beyond what I should do. They're like I'm scared, and me and my guy are drunk in this little closet. You know, but um, but I don't know. What all? Hey, what all is y'all have on that way? Maybe we can get some of it boosted out for you. Well, that's okay. I'll just go to the store in, in the you'll morning. Go, you'll go to what? I'll go to the store in the morning and find out. All right. It's, well, it's... All right. Don't, don't cross no police tape, though. You know? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. God bless. <laughs> Yeah, uh, she's she's got a lot to think about tonight. <laughs> the rest of her work shift. Hello, Phyllis. Yes. Hi, this is uh, David from uh, Kim Lawn True Green. Oh. Uh-huh. You know the the lawn company. Yeah, yeah. And Are you? Did you know you're calling? And it looks like it's about three in the morning. Yeah, I know what time it is. You don't need to tell me what time it is. No, I'm calling because uh, your neighbor that you know they get their yard treated through us. Mm-hmm. And we accidentally uh, sprayed your yard this week instead of their yard. Like, they got the addresses mixed up. Yeah. And uh, we sprayed grass killer all over your yard. Oh, you got to be kidding. No, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah. Well, it's I think that you're just playing a joke on us. Why do you say that? Well, because it's three in the morning. I know. But I'm, I'm calling to let you know because this is really important. I, I need to let... It's urgent. Well, I would like for you then to um, come out with your name and your... Um, I already said uh, my name's Roger. Yeah, but what's your last name? 
Dodger. Yep. And Insurgent. Roger Dodger. Yeah. Hey, don't make fun of my name. I got pl- enough don't of that. Don't make a joke out of it. I got enough of that in junior high. <laughs> you, need to, you need to hang up and call the police on yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry for stuff. I just, I just, like, she wouldn't buy it. She was making fun of your name. Joke out of it. <laughs> that needs to be a clip in the intro. You need to call the police on yourself. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you should for that one, dude. Hello? Hi, Kevin? Yeah. Oh, thank God you answered. This is Todd. I live down the street from you. Yeah. And um, I had a, a bit of an accident on your property tonight. I was jogging by. Okay. And, um, um, I, give me I, a second. I'll be, I'll be right out. Well, no, I'm not out there right now. I went home. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I was on your roof, though. You're on my and, roof? Yeah, I was on the roof, and I fell off, and I, I I fell into one of those flower pot things in front of the garage. I broke it with my head, and um, I just wanted to apologize. There's a little bit of blood on the driveway. Why were you on my and, roof? Um, I'm into parkour. You You're know into what, what? You know what parkour is? Uh-uh. It, it's like a... You know, you just jump around on buildings like you're a video game character, all crazy like. You know, I was walking along a fence and ended up on your roof. And I was trying to do this flip off the front of your roof, and I hit the flower pot thing. All right. Yep. And uh, I broke the flower pot, and I'll pay for it. I'm really sorry. Okay. So I just right. wanted to let you know. Okay. And you Thanks. might want to spray off your driveway, because I got a little bit of blood on your driveway when I hit my head. Okay. And thanks. Um you know, you know. All right. Okay. Okay. Bye. Well, are you upset with me? Are you mad? Uh, okay. Okay. Bye. No, no, it's a question. I think he's mad. Yep, he's mad. <laughs> 7 Eleven taking well, so can I help you? Hi, this is Kevin from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. Yeah. Uh, I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I could speak with? Do a quick survey. A customer, yeah. You gotta do a survey. Uh, Neil, you want Hello. Hi, hi. hi, sir. Hi, sir. This is uh, Leah, and I'm um, I'm one of the supervisors here with the with the corporate office of Seven Eleven. How are you this this morning? Just getting off work. I'm doing fine, ma'am. Oh, good, good. Um, would you be willing to um, commit to a survey? And if you commit the uh, complete the survey, you uh, may have a drink of your choice from the store. How does that sound? Oh, well, you get pushed parts, right? You yeah, I can do everything. Yes, there. ma'am. That sounds good, ma'am. All right. Okay. So, question number one. Are you ready, sir? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How many times do you frequent the Seven Eleven? How many times have I what? How many times do you frequent the Seven Eleven? How many times do you come in? How many times do I visit Seven Eleven? Come in the Seven Eleven. Sure. Yeah. Uh, visit. That sounds better. About every day. Sometimes two and three times a day. So every so okay so your answer is all day every day. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Um, question number two: um, What do you like to get at Seven Eleven? Or drinks, or food, or porn? Well, or what? Or any you know magazines or anything like that? Uh, that they have porn? behind the corner. Oh, yeah, porn. No, I like your Slurpees. I get my cigarettes here and my sodas here, and sometimes I get the bananas too for a dollar. You got bananas for a dollar. Okay. Two for a dollar. Um, question number three. Sorry, that wasn't the question. So question number three is, would you ever work at a 7-Eleven, sir? Yes, ma'am. You would? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, question That goes leads into question number four. Are you pretty friendly with the staff there? I'm friendly with everybody, ma'am. I respect everybody. Okay. Um, I'm finna to jerk it for George. So um, let's see. Question number five. Have you ever, uh, oh, sorry, hold on, I got a little ahead of myself here. Uh, question number five, do you, uh, do you get that malt liquor in the black and milds? I don't drink, ma'am. Okay, sounds good. See, George, you got you, got you taken care of here. Uh, question number seven, um, are you fitting a fap, fap, fap? Am I what? Are you fitting to fap, fap, fap? What is fat, fat, fat? Fap, fap, fap. 
like Fappuccino, no, but I'm not fat. Bad. I'm, no. This is Hello? you know this one always stumps everyone. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good one. That's a trick question. So pop, pop, pop. I know, huh? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. It is. It's one of those turn down for what questions. <laughs> um. Mm hmm. So, uh, yeah, are you gonna pour one out for the homie? Pour one out for the homie. Yeah, now, pour one out for Darren Wilson, or I mean, excuse uh, Michael Brown. Pour one out for the homie. Listen to this, man. I came into this world by myself, right? And my dad sounds good. Was a you gonna leave with it too? And okay, so that's out, that's the end of our survey. And sir, it sounds like you're only good enough for a small cup of coffee. Oh, ain't that nothing? Ain't no, that a bitch? Ain't, right. ain't nobody got time for that shit. Oh, we. Who are you? I need to know who you are. Oh, who I is? I don't know if I want to tell you who I are. All right. It's all good. It's, it's all, all good. good. It's Leah up in the hood. What's up? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I wish you was down here now. Why, so why sir? Why, up. sir? What you want? You uh, trying to holler back hey. at a girl, huh? Uh, yeah. I'm trying to get a conversation. You trying to you trying to get some of that, some, some. Hey, I don't want no scrub, son. Oh, you got me twisted. You, you twisted. Ask somebody Shoot. about they uh-huh. Yeah, no. All right, so why don't you go ahead and haul back at that call, that cashier over there and tell him you're only good enough for some black cup of coffee. Oh, no, no, I ain't going to tell him that. I, I think I got cheated. I didn't want the call. You I didn't even want the call. Now. Well, why'd you waste my time with the call? You're going to uh, get I it. I want to meet you now. How is that? At Mildred Monday, you're going to get it. Huh? Uh-huh. Yes, Do yes. what now? I said I, I want to meet you now. Okay, but you sound like you smell. Yeah, okay. I smell good. And I sound do you? good. And I look good now. You do? You smell good? You look good? You feel good? You make love good? You done. You damn right. Extra good. Hello, sir. This is the supervisor. Uh, I, you're, oh, you're, not, you're not supposed to be hitting on our employees. It's very sir, inappropriate of you. Please forgive me. And I, no, listen. Wrong, sir. No, I, Neon is fired. I'm going to fire her, and you are banned from the store from this point forward. Oh, come on, man. You need, you need to get out of the store. We're going to put your picture up. And if All you come right. in again, we'll have you arrested. Okay. And Neon's fired. What do you think about that? You got a girl Why fired would you tonight. Why fire her? Somebody doing the survey. Why would you fire no, her? No, you're both participating. You're both guilty. Okay. It was let me consensual ask you a question, participation. Hey, shut up, Neon. Party. You're you're out of here. Let, let me <laughs> ask you a question. So, if she's doing a survey, I'm sure you had told her the guidelines and everything. So if she broke them guidelines. Listen, you can just shut the know, fuck up. I don't have to listen to you. Before you even got that far, sir. You, you can eat a dick. I don't have to listen to you. I'm, she's fired what and you, you are... Say, man? I said eat a dick. And, and, and then you got me fucked up. You eat a dick, bitch. No, and you eat a dick. Phone. You sound hungry. Get stuffed. Sir? Thank you for calling 7-Eleven. Can I help you? Hi, this is Mark from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I could speak with? Um, just a moment. Okay. And I got a couple coming in the door right now. Okay, Just great. One moment. And um, yeah, by the way, they'll get a free drink or a free hot dog for doing the survey. Okay, okay just a moment. I keep them in the noise tunnel. No sale. Um, he's our only customer in oh, here right now. Fuck that. No, no. If he's not going to do it, he can leave. You need to ask him to leave. Ask him to leave? Yeah, tell him to get out. Like, no survey, no sale. That's, no. our, that's our motto. No, I'm serious. He needs to leave. <laughs> I was like, I can't do that. Hang on, hang on. Oh, I got cool. somebody in my doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, just don't listen no to me. No survey, just, no sale. <laughs> and then, we have and a riot then, on our hands. And then punch him in the teeth. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Just a moment. If he has any. <laughs> All right, just a moment. Okay. Right. Hello? Hello? Hi, I'm calling from the corporate office. Would you like to do a quick survey with us? Sure. And you get a free drink and a free hot dog? Sure. And a free six-pack of beer? <laughs> I don't drink beer. <laughs> oh, I'm serious. No. And, okay, well, you can have a free six-pack of soda. Okay. And then you also get a free quart of oil. Seriously? You get Yeah, yeah, free quart of oil. That would be nice. Okay. You know, something good to keep in your trunk in case you ever need it. The question is, how long is it going to you take? You get a free lighter. It's going to take 45 minutes. Oh, but crud. No, I actually don't have that much time. You get a free Slurpee also. You get a free tank of gas. Seriously? Uh, yeah. How much does your, how much, 
uh, does gas usually cost you? What kind of car do you drive? Uh, we actually have a Toyota Prius, so, uh, yeah, we, we do pretty good on the gas. <laughs> you get free cookies? <laughs> no, okay. Uh, um, two, wow. Two free I, uh, bags of Lay's chips? What time is it? Free See, cup I'm of coffee? I'm actually in the middle of delivering, new, delivering newspapers right now, so. <laughs> okay. Well, well, um, we can actually, do the, uh, I, I really don't have time. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can do the, ver- the really quick survey. Does the phone reach over to the coffee makers? I think it should. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we just need to do a test on the coffee makers. Do you see uh, one of the coffee makers that has a full pot of coffee under it? Um, I see yes. Okay. Uh, and does that have a full pot of coffee? Which, any of them? Does any Do any of them yeah. have a full? Yeah, yeah. It looks like, com- the, like the pumpkin is pretty full. The one that's mostly full. Okay. So, um, but it, and it's sitting in the machine where, uh, you know, where, where it has the buttons above it? Okay, the one like the cappuccino machine or the coffee pot? The coffee pots. Oh, the coffee pot. Okay, yeah. Are any of those uh-huh, full? The, yeah, well, like I said, I think that the pumpkin one is full. Oh, okay. And are they sitting under the spout? Sitting under the spout. Uh-huh. The, is what under the spout? You know, when you have to make a pot of coffee, you put the coffee pot under the spout. And oh, the, the pot. Right. Yeah. So is it yeah, un- it's under the uh, the dispenser for the water. Okay. Yeah, if we could just quickly test the safety shutoff thing, just push the button okay. as if you're making a pot of coffee, and it'll shut itself off. Safety yeah. shutoff. No, no, just push, push the start button like you're going to start a pot of coffee. Oh. And it, it'll. Like, it, there's a button that says brew, and then there's one that says enable on off brew. Uh, I think it would be, be brew. Really, it's not going to run water into the coffee pot. Yeah, it will for just a second, but then it'll shut off because it's a safety feature. Okay. And, and that particular, the pumpkin one needs to be remade anyway. Oh, okay. All right. So I hit brew. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Nothing happened. Oh. oh well, is there a, some kind of a start button? Oh, no, wait. Something's coming out. Okay. Is it coming? Coffee's coming out. And it's still coming out. <laughs> it's coming out coffee. It's probably not good. <laughs> yeah, and now the level is coming up, and it's not on maximum, but it was over halfway full. Oh, oh, I thought it was already full. No, I'm sorry, there was a sign over it, and it looked like that was the top of the indicator, but it's not. Ah, balls. I wanted to be uh, <laughs> What do I do now? Oh, well, is I just messed up their pot of coffee. <laughs> oh, it's now brewing. Three minutes, two and a half minutes. Are, are there any other pots there that are completely full? No. It's got to be a full one for it to be for maximum. No, there's not. Maximum, none of them are full. Maximum lulls is what we need. No, none of them are full. Um, wait, wait. This is decaf one. No, that's not full either. Uh, can can you? No, one of them's empty. Can you pour? Is this going to overflow? Probably, but no, it should. Great. It, it can sh- I turn it off? No, no. Just leave it going. They'll they'll clean it up. It, it, oh a, no. No, there's <laughs> there's a safety okay. shut off thing, so it's fine. What? How much coffee was in there? Would you say? Well, when we, I took the sign off, it looked like it was maybe about half to three quarters full. Half to three. Oh, okay. So is it about to overfill then? Um, it's, it's getting up there. Oh. Not yet. It's got maybe an inch or inch and a half left. Keep uh, it bouncing up and down. What's the timer say on the coffee pot? Is it still three minutes? Minute 34. Oh, minute 34. And 30 seconds. Is the clerk over there too? No, she's at the counter. Oh, okay. Should I talk to her? Oh, no, I, I thought I heard someone else saying something. Oh, no, they're behind me. Oh, okay. Tell her, tell her to be quiet. We're doing science. Okay. <laughs> so would you like a free drink then and a free hot dog? Sure, that would be fine. Okay, all right, yeah, a free donut, whatever, you know. Just okay, all right. <laughs> and um, is, is it about to overfill yet? Yeah, well, it's about an inch from the top. Oh, from this is so exciting. I can't wait to top. see if it works. Okay. This is ex- so is it supposed to shut off when it gets to maximum? Yeah, yeah. When it gets right at the top, it'll just shut it, shut itself off. Okay. Got about half an inch. It's coming up there. Yep, yep. It's a new so safety feature. She, he says it's supposed to have an emergency safety shut off when it gets to maximum. Okay, so we're testing it. Really I know. I'm, I'm like, sorry. I'm like, oh, no. No, it's fine. Uh, tell, tell her to go away. She says you need to go away. <laughs> It's between us. It's still going. It's reached above the maximum line. Oh, there it oh, goes. Now it's overflowing. Oh, this is going to be so cool. It's going to... F- oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> They're going to hate me. 
I come in here every day to deliver news. <laughs> oh, really? It's like spewing everywhere. Is it, make, uh, is it making a You really mess? work for 7-Eleven Corporate, though, right? Oh, of so course. you're not oh, that yeah, kind yeah. of like... No, I do, I do, I do. Okay. <laughs> Out how long oh no! It's still got another minute and twenty seconds left. Oh, cool! That's gonna be. It's gonna go all over the floor. I bet. <laughs> no, well, at least there's a there's a drip pan. So, oh, but it's gonna oh, get all over the that. burner. And there you go. You're making so much <laughs> extra work for him. Some, what's that? You're making so much extra work for him. I know. That's horrible. <laughs> I hate that. You, that you should. Are you, are you sure there's not somebody there with you? I keep hearing someone else talk. No, no, they're actually d- d- behind me. They're they're throwing their voice. Should have let it overflow. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't have been doing this. Okay, um, can can you just okay? So the pumpkin pot thing. Yeah. Can, can you just take it and just throw it on the floor? Just throw it on the ground. No. Just to get a whoosh. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Come on, it's for science. It's there's a safety thing. It won't actually break. Uh, I think I'll probably burn myself. No, no, just grab it by the handle and throw it on the floor. Throw it away from you. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> throw it through one of the, uh, the doors, the cooler doors. Um, I just don't think a free drink is worth us <laughs> making that big of a mess. Well, how often do you get to do something like that? Come on. Uh, no, I don't, I don't ever do things like that. <laughs> Okay. All right. Fine. All right. Well, I'll let you go then. Thank you very much for helping us test this out. And you can go ahead and get a free drink or a free donut or a free hot something sandwich, maybe. Okay. And yeah, and 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 I've already told them they they know to give you a free thing. Okay. All right. Well, very good. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you. Have a good day. All right. You too. Bye. Bye. I'm not really corporate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. I was telling you to put the regular in the decaf. Yeah, I was going to do that. I was going to just mix two of them until they're both full and then start yeah. it up. So that was my three hours of Pranksgiving night condensed down into 27 minutes. On the phone with me was Laugh Track Matt and Neon Like Bjork. And for part of it, DS. Oh, and I think Baz was on there for a short time, too. If you want to listen to the entire show, though, it's on phonelosers.org slash media. And it's in the Snowplow Show directory. Before we get into the Saturday morning pranks, let's listen to a few voicemails. Hi, this is Robert Ramsey. I'm representing ABC Television and composer Michael Giacchino. We've noticed that on some old episodes of your podcast known as The Phone Show that you play... Real or not real? What do you guys think? Sounds real, but I don't know. Uh, The sad music at the end of Lost. Oh, it's a cease and desist. This is fake. When you ask people what they've learned... Uh, we're going to ask you to cease and desist that retroactively. See. If you could replace those songs with maybe the sped-up piano version that you recorded for Laugh Track Matt or possibly the sad walking away music at the end of The Incredible Hulk, we'd really appreciate it. And if you could at least once or twice do that at the end of the Snowplow Show, uh, then we'll know that you actually, you know, heeded our advice. Yeah. It's kind of important. I'll get right on Thanks. that. Thanks, Cactus. Uh, okay, well, I was going to make a longer show, but I guess I need to wrap this show up so I can go through four years of the phone show and delete all of the lost music that I put in there. Hello, Bradley. I am calling from the middle of the Queensboro Bridge, and I'm about to graffiti PLA material all over the side. Yay! I demand payment in 500 shekels. Uh, you can send it to my bank account. Uh, the number will be included in an email. All right, you are welcome. Back to Cactus. I want pictures. I want proof that you vandalized something. And by the way, I encourage all of my listeners to take cans of spray paint and graffiti phone losers.org and, and whatever else on public property. If you can't donate to the show through Patreon, then that's the next best thing. It's buying a little bit of spray paint and destroying public property. Please, everyone, do that for me. Hey, Brad. How's it going? Not so, for the small talk. You've been doing a good amount of shows lately, and that's pretty cool, and I'm okay with that. But but why haven't you done Telephone Falls? Why haven't you finished the poster? Why haven't you done the vinyl album? Which one is he going to say? Friends from Prank Hall Nation, their podcast. Their podcast hasn't had a new one in like 
12 days as of the time of this voice. Message. I have nothing you to do with that. You need to tell them to get their shit together. You need to call them up, call Carlito up, and Dwight, and all those motherfuckers. And you need to get them to put some more of their shows on their podcast, because I don't know what's what. Yeah. I'm pretty pissed. Tack to tack. I'll call up Carlito at the hospital and say, hey, hey, I know you've been in the hospital for, oh wow, maybe it's been 12 days now. But could you hurry the fuck up with that podcast? No, I, I actually, I have no idea who does the podcast. I thought it was Enigma. Maybe Enigma just got bored with the whole thing. I'll definitely ask around about that, though, and find out why the podcasts aren't updating anymore. All that matters, though, is my podcast updates. Who cares about PCN shows? This is Oregon Guy reporting from South Eastern Medford Crater Lake area, and it is cold. It is cold with lots of snow. Charge lots my of snow, iPad. Two or three inches. So charge your iPods and charge your iPhones and charge your iPads and order takeout pizza. What about my Android? What do I do with my Android? I'm not good at this. Um, yeah. Hey, you know what? It, it's it's snowing. It, it's cold. It's rainy. And um, everything is really fucked up over here. So uh, do another snowplow show. Uh, I think it's fitting. Yeah, right. yeah. Ho- hope you're uh, staying warm and a, a little drier up there. All right. Bye. Cactus, cactus, cactus. Bye. Oregon guy that for some reason doesn't seem to have an Oregon phone number anymore. Hopefully that means he lives farther away from me. Hey, before I get back to the pranks, you know the Joy Bubbles documentary that I've mentioned at least twice now? It's still not funded. Let me go to the page right now, see where it's at. It is uh, about $3,000 from its goal, and there's only four days left. So this is going to suck if it doesn't get funded. So uh, you know that Giad's Christmas help a, a poor, starving family Christmas thing that I mentioned earlier? Screw that! We need to fund Joy Bubbles. We need to fund some dead guy and the documentary about him. He's more important than starving families. So if you have money to spare, don't give it to prankcallnation.com slash fundraising. Give it to Joy Bubbles, the documentary on Kickstarter, or both. You know, maybe give to both. I'm going to put a link in the show notes again to this Joy Bubbles thing, and hopefully it'll get funded. It's it's gone up by a thousand, I think, since the last time I mentioned it, but it still needs three thousand more. I'm going to be really annoyed if that doesn't get made as quickly as possible. Okay, let's get back to pranks. I think the following pranks are all from Saturday morning. On Saturday morning, I decided to go through the entire list of phone numbers that I gave to all the other hosts for Pranksgiving and call all the numbers who didn't answer, and there was a lot of them. So these are a few of the people that did not answer on Thursday night and Friday morning. Mostly layaways, there were some gym customers in there, and some portrait calls. I think these are all layaways, but maybe there's portraits, too. I don't remember. But here it goes. Let's hear some Saturday morning pranks. Hello? Hello, David? Yes? Hey, I'm calling from the layaway department. You had some things on layaway here? Yeah, I'm going to come get it uh, uh, on the first. Oh, no, no. I got about six bucks, huh? Yeah, how much have you paid on that so far? You, ain't, you, you, you called me. You ain't looking at my... Uh, you ain't looking oh, at don't, don't be a smartass. No, the reason I'm calling, actually... Uh, Fuck you, bitch! No, hey, don't yell at me. I'll throw your shit on the ground. David? That's it. I'm going to break all your shit. Okay, he hung up. <laughs> Jesus. I, I, I didn't even get a joke out yet, and he <laughs> freaked out at me. Hello? Hello, Andrea? Yes. Hey, this is uh, Roy from the layaway department. Uh huh. And you had some stuff on layaway here, right? Yeah. And um, uh, did they call you yet and tell you about the problem? No. Oh boy. Okay. Well, what happened? We had a riot here on uh on Black Friday. Are you serious? Yeah, and they 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 stormed the layaway room, and they came in and they took all your stuff. Are you serious? Yeah, they just they took it all. And they they took So what's going to happen? Well, um you're still going to have to pay for it, but the the stuff's gone. What do you mean I'm still going to have to pay for it? 
because it's not our fault they stole it. It's not our fault. So you have to pay Bullshit, for it. Bullshit, I ain't paying for nothing if I don't have the stuff. Well, you already paid for some of it. Uh, then you need to give me the stuff. No, no, we we, we can't because it's not, it's not our fault. It's, we can't control well, if it's an angry... it's not my fault either. We can't control if an angry mob comes in and steals your stuff. Well, it's not my fault either. Well, it's more your fault than it is our fault. Because, you know, it's like... How is it my fault? Because, I, I don't know, it's a, it's a bunch of angry citizens coming in here, and that's what you are. Okay, you're, that you're has one. nothing to do with me. Well, how do we know that? How do we know you didn't have a, a relative come over and steal it, so you didn't have to pay for the rest uh, of it? This better be some kind of joke, because if it's not, it's not going to go over very well. Oh, it's no joke. Our, our store is a mess. We're, we can't even open today, because it's such a mess, and all of our things have been stolen. Well, I have nothing to do with that. You guys owe me the money that I put down on the layaway. No, no, you owe us the rest of the money. That was all my kids, and all my grandkids' uh, Christmas gifts. Y- you owe us the rest of the money that you haven't paid yet. No, I don't think so. Oh, yes, you do. We'll, we'll send you the collection. How can I pay for merchandise I'm not getting? That's so stupid. Well, it's not our fault that they... That they well, it's came- not my fault either, so don't be calling me tell me the shit. Okay, well, you know, we'll we'll send you to collections. Well, how can you send me to the collections if I don't have the merchandise? Because you didn't pay the rest of the money you owed. You have to pay the rest of that. You, you are you a supervisor? Yeah, and you're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put you in the computer right now, and you're gonna start getting collection letters in the mail. You cannot send me to collections. And they're they're gonna start calling that you at work. Dumb. We're gonna garnish your wages until we get that money. They're gonna they're gonna take it. We're gonna put a lien on your taxes. A lien, a lien on your credit report. How does that work? A lien with the bank? I don't know. Something's going to happen, though. You just wait. You must be on drugs, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. So you don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm the one on drugs? Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, about ten people now. I'm going to start recording this. All ten are going to record it? Yep. That way, when I, when I get you for harassment people right now. We're all here sitting and having lunch. How's, so how is this it. harassment? It's a single phone call. You're harassing me for a layaway that I don't receive? It's it's not harassment, though. It's a business phone call. I'm calling you about you're a, telling me I'm going to go to collections? I didn't not, get the merchandise, and I didn't have a ride at your store. That's not harassment. That. That's not harassment. That's a fact. Well, uh, you're crazy. That, that's defamation of character right there. I'm suing you for defamation of character. Oh, she hung up. I didn't even hear her hang up. Hello? Hey, you tell that lady I want all of the recordings that she made of my voice destroyed, because that's illegal. <laughs> it is not illegal. I'm sorry to tell you. It is illegal for you to be calling and saying that she stole from your store. I didn't say that. I said nothing Are like you, that. Okay, what is the situation? Explain the situation okay. to me. Let me explain the situation. We live we live in a two party state. What? Ma'am? Yes. We can live I in a two you? party recording state. Therefore you cannot record our phone call without no, no, my no, permission. No. You are calling you are calling a private phone. The, and what a private the phone deal? that she Why gave us. Why are you calling? She Do you us, want to tell me the story or not? Hey, shut up, bitch. She gave us the phone number. Excuse so me. It's, Excuse me, asshole. What is your name, motherfucker? I already told her my name. What's your name? I don't even know who you are. You're not Andrea. What's your name? Why should I give you that? You're not. You're not exactly. Andrea. So don't call back, or I will call the cops and have this recorded. You're already recording it. I'm. I'm taking. I'm. Next time I answer, you better be ready to answer, please, because I'm going straight to the police department right now and file a complaint because this is harassment, and I have no idea how to do this. We can do anything we want. We're a multi-billion dollar corporation. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> they laughed at me. I think. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Brown. Who's this? This is Roy from the layaway department. You had some stuff on layaway here? Hold on. Say that again. I'm sorry. I'm calling from the layaway department. You had some things on layaway with us? Okay. Yep. And um, did uh, we had some riots here on Black Friday, and they kind of they stormed into the layaway room and stole your items. Okay. So you're not going to be able to get those now. So you're gonna like give me my money back, right? Oh no, no. 
Absolutely not. Because it's not our fault. Is it? It's not our fault that they came in and stole things. So, hold, hold on one second. So we're not going to pay for it. Somebody should pay on Black Friday. They ran into a whole bunch of stuff. Hello. Hi. Who's this? Hello. Hi. Hello. What seems to be the problem now? Oh, she didn't just tell you? No. Oh, that's weird because I heard her tell you in the background. Yeah, I'm calling from the layaway department and uh, we had kind of a riot here on Black Friday. Okay. And... Uh, you know, like all all of your things were stolen from the they they came okay. to the layaway room and and took your things. Then you will be reimbursing me, correct? Oh no, definitely not, because it's not our fault. There's nothing we yes, can. Yes, it is your fault. See, as a store, you have a liability on a layaway program. Oh, you're this not I a know lawyer. I work for companies doing what you do. So you'll be hearing from my attorneys, and I will be hitting you for a twenty thousand dollar lawsuit. Because if you read the state law guidelines, you are responsible for that. Quit pretending you're a lawyer. You, you don't know shit. I'm not pretending I'm a lawyer, you dumb son of a bitch. I know what I'm talking about. I've been in your position before. Yeah, I, I know people usually when they know what they're talking about. Stores. What's that? I used to work for one of your stores. Yeah, that, that, does, that doesn't make you a lawyer, though, does it? No, it doesn't. No, but I know the guidelines because I've read them all. No. Because I have studied law. Yeah, and and you still owe us the rest of the money on this layaway. And, oh, and if yeah, you don't I pay still the rest... Owe you? What? Your stuff gets stolen and you expect me to pay for it? Yeah, because it's not our fault. For all we you know... You're out of your freaking mind, dude. For all we know, you... will be there in a little bit. <sighs> he wouldn't even let me talk. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? I, I bet you you actually uh, you you sent someone in and stole it, didn't you? That's why you're acting like this. Oh yeah, I, I oh. definitely sent I sent all kinds of people in there to steal from you. Yeah, probably. Yep, I did it. You, you probably orchestrated the whole riot thing. Have a good day. Yeah, li- listen to that bitch in the background. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Parkinson's. Yes. Uh, I'm calling from the layaway. Uh huh. And uh, you had you have some things on layaway with us. Yes. And um, th- there's a little bit of a problem. Uh, we were keeping all of your layaway items in the bathroom. Um, uh-huh. You know, because we we didn't we ran out of room in the layaway department. Um, uh-huh. And uh, you know, our bathroom flooded, so your items were submerged in toilet water. Really. But we're we're drying them out right now, and I think they're going to be okay. Which okay? So which um which what is this? Uh, we're we're at the. Oh, okay, because I I had two layaways, um, one at the and then one with you. Oh, that's that sounds really sketchy, like you're trying to pull something. But yeah, I'm sorry? I said that sounds really sketchy that you would need to go to two stores, like you're trying to pull well, some I kind did of a it scam. Before the sales, and then when the sales came. Yeah, at two different stores though. Like, what kind of scam is that? That's not a scam. Sounds like it to me. Anyway, your things were submerged in toilet water. But okay. and we're just required to let you know. But I think it's going to okay, be. Okay. What fu- do I need to do? Can I switch them out now? Oh no, no. These are yours. You already put down your money on them, so you have to keep the same items. There's nothing okay. wrong with it. And on, what was your name? We're drying it out. We're like running everything under the hand dryer in the bathroom. Okay. So everything. And can you tell me your name? Should be fine. Yeah, my name is Roy. Okay. So everything should be fine. Um, okay, um, I will. I, I'll come in there um, for, here shortly. Well, are you going to pay for the rest of it and pick up your items? I'm. Um, I'm going to come in there shortly. I'm going to speak with somebody. Well, you you might want to wait a while because uh, your items are still a little bit damp. You know, you have to wait for them to dry out before we can give them to. you. Oh, I mean, we can give them to you wet if that's what you want. Okay. Um. Like I said, I will, I'll come in and I'll speak with somebody. Yeah, it was weird because like the sewers backed up or something. So it was it was uh-huh. like it was brown water, if you know what I mean. It was really gross. Okay. But we we wiped everything. So how many other people's stuff got submerged? Um, you know, maybe about thirty people, because we were keeping every you know their items in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Because we ran out of room in the layaway room. You don't need to laugh and snicker at me. Okay. And your name's Wayne. What's your what's your title there? I'm the store manager. You're the manager. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Well, I'll why, come speak with you shortly. Why, why? We're speaking right now. Why can't we just speak on the phone? 
I, I know, I understand that, but I'm going to come in there and I'm going to talk with you personally, okay? I'm dealing with something right now okay. where my grandmother just passed away. So if you don't mind, I will come in there and speak with you in person. Okay, well, we are speaking in person right now. We're on the phone. We are not. One-on-one. No, it's we are not. I will be in thing. there to speak with you if you don't mind. I probably, I'm probably not going to have time to talk to you when you come in. <laughs> uh, using the whole my grandma died to, to gain leverage on me. It's one of those people. Ooh, my grandma just died. Have pity on me. Hello? Hello, Kim? Yes? Hey, this is uh, Gary from the layaway department. Yes. And um, you had some items with us on layaway here. Yes. And um, did did you have the kids, the dolls? We're, we're we've got some things all mixed up, and we're trying to figure out which is which. Um, I had AIDS. The etch a sketch. Okay, I see Operation that. Operation Clue. Mousetrap. The um, Nerf bow and the arrows to go with the bow. Okay, all right. Um, then it says toys and hobby. I I can't remember what that is. Yeah, I think it's the operation game. That's the and thing. A, uh, I'm sorry. What? Oh, okay, and a coat. Okay, yeah. Our one of our employees, Chad. He um he borrowed the operation game. He took it home, and you know he just wanted to like play with it for the weekend. Okay. And um and That's that weird. and and mousetrap. And that's just something that's like a perk of working here. You know, we can take things home and, and you know, just play around with them for a weekend and then bring them back. And I feel like this is a joke. <laughs> oh, no, it's not a joke. Um, I wouldn't joke. Oh, I haven't even told you the worst part. He, uh, Chad, died in a car accident this weekend, just yesterday. And um, there's no way for us to get your items back. That's That's the reason I'm calling. I really do feel like this is a joke. <laughs> okay. I admit it, it's a joke. Just kidding. No, your items are fine. I just wanted to make sure we had the right ones stacked up back here. Because we had a flood. There's toilet water everywhere. It was so disgusting. But your stuff wasn't affected. Your stuff is fine. Okay. So, um, why are you calling? <laughs> <sighs> because, you know, I thought you were cute when you came in. And are you married? I am. Fuck. Is it, like, a solid relationship? It is. Shit. This is really weird. Um, how how long have you been married? Like, is the, the seven-year itch about to come up, or anything like um, that? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. Okay, alright, well, do you have a sister? Around your age? Um, goodbye. <laughs> come on. Is your sister <laughs> single? Oh. Hi, Tracy? Yes. Hey, this is uh, Roy from the layaway department. Uh-huh. And uh, you had some items on layaway with us. Uh-huh. And there's a bit of a problem. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, um, one of our employees, it's one of our new hires. We just hired them for the Christmas season. And uh, she, uh-huh. she, w- she put your items on the floor, and she was using them as a ladder to get up on a high shelf. Oh, no. Yeah. And um, she what felt... did she break? Oh no, it's not your items. Your items are fine. Uh, she's oh. she's very uh, light girl. You know she she didn't crush your oh. items or anything, so that's fine. Is but, she okay? No, she fell over and broke her arm. <gasps> yeah, oh, no. and um, she's in the hospital, and basically, she, um, you know, you're kind of responsible for the hospital bills. I am. Yeah, because, you know, because she was, it was on your things that she hurt herself, your property. She hurt herself on your property. Wait a minute. I'm responsible because she was stupid and climbed on a box. Oh, don't call her stupid. This is a girl in the hospital. She's only 16 years old and she's in the hospital. You're you're calling a kid stupid? Well, wait a minute. Don't, don't why call- am I responsible for her hospital bill? Okay, well, wait, let's go back a minute here. Why why are you calling kids, okay. a little kid stupid? That's horrible. Okay. Why are you calling she's, me? Then? She's not stupid. She's just inexperienced at, at, you know, she didn't know we had ladders in the back room. Okay. So what's the deal? Um, you are responsible for her hospital bills. It's not too much. It's only around seven hundred dollars. It's just a broken, a broken arm, a clean break. She had to get a cast. 
Uh, she had insurance to cover some of it, but there's still part of it you have to cover. You know, the deductible. I just guess I don't understand why it's my responsibility. Well, she broke her items on your property. I mean, she broke her arm on your property. Okay, there's a lady there by the name of Carol. Can I talk to Carol? Uh, Carol's not in today. Okay, so what is your name, and I will come and talk to you here in a little bit. Carol actually got fired. Um, my name is Roy. I'm the assistant manager here at the store. Why would Carol get fired? Oh, that's none of your business. That's that's none of your business. You shouldn't ask me that. Okay, I guess I don't understand why I'm responsible. I have. How many times have I told you this now? She broke her arm on your property. Those are your in your store. No, it's your items, though. It's on your property. She was standing on your property and fell off because of your your negligence. My negligence. Yes. To be honest, I think oh. she was on drugs. Huh? I said to be honest. Between me and you, I think she was on drugs. Who is I, this? Roy. What do you mean? Who is this? I already told you who I am. I'm the assistant manager. Okay. Um, I guess I need to come in and talk to you face to face, Roy. Oh, this again? I don't have time for this. This is why I make phone calls. If I wanted to talk face to face, I'd come to your house. <laughs> is this some kind of joke? Of course not. No, I wouldn't joke about something this serious. I, I think you just need to take responsibility for your actions and, and pay this, this girl's medical bills. Um. Yeah, we're going to have to come to the store and talk to and you there. You're probably going to have to pay for her uh, PS, PT, post-traumatic stress disorder treatment also as a result of the accident. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just call corporate and talk to them then. Oh, they're going to tell you the same thing. This is policy. I mean, don't threaten me with corporate. This is your fault. I, your... I'm not. That's what you just did. What do you mean you're not? You're, you're trying I'm to, going to call corporate and see what your policy is. You're trying to intimidate me with your corporate talk. No, you're, you're intimidating me. You're just like all the rest. You're like uh, all the other customers just, just trying to get something for nothing. She just hung up. <laughs> Finally, before the show ends, I'm going to play one more prank for you. This next one, it didn't happen on either of my two shows. This was on Carlito's show which I was also a part of. I was there for the entire three hours of Carlito's show. And Jihad was on. And right before Jihad left, he's like, Hey Brad, let's try that idea that I mentioned earlier in the day. Because he, he gave me this uh, prank call premise, which seemed really hilarious. So we decided we're going to try it. So the, the first part uh, is just me setting it up. I have to get someone angry. And the angry person has to ask for the manager. And that's where the fun starts happening. So you'll notice on the whole first part of this call, this lady does not get angry. It's only when I go into phase two, that's when she really starts getting angry. But here's a call with me and Jihad. Hello? E Hello, Ebony? Uh, yes. Hey, this is uh, Roy over at the layaway department. Uh-huh. And, and you got those dressers? Uh-huh. And I just needed to let you know, um, we've gone ahead and donated two of your... You got five dressers, right? Uh, well, Cause... my friend was with me and she had one in my... Yeah, in my layaway with mine. I had four. Four, okay, four and then she has one? Mm -hmm. Okay, because we've donated two of those to the Goodwill. It's like a thing we do starting on Thanksgiving, and we do it all through the holidays. So you're only going to get three dressers for the five that you paid for, or that you're going to pay for. Mm -hmm. And uh, two mm -hmm. of them, two of them are being donated to charity. Okay. So you're only going to get three, just so you know. Okay, so, which ones did they donate? I don't know. They just picked two at random. Wow. Um, okay. I don't. They they probably picked the most expensive ones. I don't know what the price. I don't actually have your sheet out here myself, but yeah, they were fifty nine and they were marked down to twenty nine today. Okay, all right. Well, that's good. That's not that much then. So you basically what I'm saying is you donated two dressers valued at you know twenty nine or whatever they were, but you still have to pay for uh, them. Okay, how does that work then? Well, it's it's a charity. It's a donation thing. It helps the less fortunate people. Right, and I understand. I'm just saying, how do they pick? Oh, it's just Who random. Donates? They just they they are like they they base it on the, what the attitude of the person was at the counter. You know, they're uh -huh. just like, oh yeah, let's let's use that ladies for the donations. It, it's a, it's completely up to the layaway person. Hmm. Okay. And all right. Yeah, so um, you're gonna get three dressers, but you're gonna pay for five. 
So um, okay. I don't know. You, you said your relative, maybe she, maybe you could just not yeah. give her hers, and you'll get four. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll try to tell her that. I don't know how that'll work, but I mean, it's, I guess I'll tell her that. Though it's tax deductible, so you know, just file it. We'll we'll give you a receipt, and it'll be like a donation. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. And, um, also, the bitch. Also. Oh, hey, come on. None of that. It's not her fault. Um, the layaway lady, you know Mary, right? She's the one that checked you out? Yeah, it, it was two of us. Uh-huh. Yeah, she um, she says you stole... Uh, there was a, a change container on the counter for, like, Jerry's kids or one of those. I, I don't know, because it's gone now. Oh, There's, no, I haven't touched anything. You can go back and run a camera. No, <laughs> I no. don't have a reason to we, take anything. We looked on the camera, and we saw on the camera, you you took one of those money things. It probably didn't even have $5 I, No, in it. no, no. I have never taken anything. I have never stolen anything. It was me and my friends standing there together. It was me and Lily Beeson. I purchased all of my stuff, and I don't know if Lily take, took anything, but I have never no. stolen a thing a day in my life. Oh, no, we know it was you, because you're the one that paid, right? Oh, uh, no, we we rung up two separate things, and I can, mm-hmm. me and her both can come over there, and you can see me and her. Well, we know you, you can run the tape. We we saw no. the tapes. No, we saw them. We know you both okay. look like thieves. Okay, and which one was Ebony? I don't have to tell you anything because I'm not the one on trial. Okay, well I'm fixing to put on some clothes, so um. Well, I'll put my manager on. To? I'll put my manager on. If that's, that's fine because I have no reason to steal anything. I, I don't see what your attitude problem is. I'll, I'll put my manager because on because you're. First, you're calling me, telling me that I'm donating a Chester drawer. Then you're telling me that I took something. I have never stolen anything a day in my life. Yeah. So, yes, I would love to speak with your manager a, now. A, a thief would say the same thing, of course. You know. Oh, you're Lord gonna, Jesus. Okay, you, well, can I speak with your manager? All right, he's, uh, hold on. Hey, Jihad, come here. This lady. Because I have never taken here, anything here, out of a sh- store. Sh- so, if they go back and run the tape, I haven't stole sh- shit. Sh- hey, sh- here's the manager. Hello, this is Giada. Okay, that's fine. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is hey. Giada. I, I'm the night manager. Okay, now, yes, because I want to get a clear understanding of this because I have no reason to steal anything. Okay. I came into the store this morning, me and my friend, Lily Beeson, we had five Chester drawers. Okay. I had four, she had one, okay? We okay. stood up at the counter. If you run the tape back, it was two girls. It was a dark one and a light-skinned one. I'm okay. the dark one. I paid for the dresser. I bought a catacomb chest. The catacomb, I swiped my gift card, which was for mm-hmm. $100. Hold on. Let me get my receipt. My back. Okay. Because yeah, I no, have no, no reason I'm, to steal I'm anything. Um, no, I don't want I to think, be falsely uh, accused on, Ebony, of anything. Ebony? Ebony, I think I already yeah. know what the. Could you hold on just a second? I think I know what the problem yeah. is. Um, Eb- Ebony, w- was Roy being um a little bit rude there? Who is Roy? Roy, the guy you were just talking to, was he being a little bit? Yes, he w- was because okay. he just called ma'am, me a thief, ma'am, and I have you, never. If- ma'am, could you just okay. hold on just a second? Roy, come here a second. What? All right, Roy, what did I tell you about talking to customers? You ever talk to an inner customer like that ever again? Don't you ever talk to a customer like that. You hear me? You are nice. Ebony, Ebony, I am so sorry for Roy's behavior. Can't hit me. Um, no, I'm, no, I need to clear this up because I don't want anybody don't worry. thinking I Come here, come here. I, uh, just I listen to no here. I will, uh, listen, me. I will give justice right now. Come here, Roy. Get your hands <clears throat> off me. Ow, ow. <clears throat> Stop it. <clears throat> Okay, Ebony. I think I think we've settled this matter. I don't think Rose oh, no. ever talk uh, to you like hello? that ever again. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Hello? I'm here, Ebony. Roy okay, has just so no, pushed, my, pushed the buttons here too much. I we got this thing settled now. I think oh, this no, is just, this is Hold good justification, because... right? My nose is okay, bleeding. Can, can we please? Can we get a clear understanding of something? Bloody my yeah, fucking nose. Yeah. But man, my adrenaline's pumping so hard right now. I just punched him in the face like six times. Bloody oh, my nose. felt so good. Jesus, I've been nope. wanting to hit Roy for so long. This guy's had okay, a coming, well, I have, man. Hey, I have nothing to do with you hitting Roy or anything else. Yeah, but no, no, no. But, but Ebony, no, no. We're no, we need to get a clear understanding. I did it for you. 
So I need you to if if he goes to if he goes to districts with this, could you please can you please you know say that you heard him hit me first or something? Hold on for hold on for one second because uh, I don't need, I can't lose my job, Ebony, and I like you. I, we will get this straight. I'll you know what I'll throw you know I'll throw in a. Do you need a computer desk? I have a great computer desk. No no um, no 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 no, no no please, no Ebony, no. If the district no. manager finds out I just hit Roy like this. I'm going to get fired. Will you at least please, okay. can I please tell the district manager that that you heard he hit me first? Please. What, what, what is your name? Okay, what is your name? My name is Giad St. Clair. Spell I'm, that for me. I'm the nighttime manager, so officially I'm an assistant okay, can manager. can you spell St. Clair for me? Can you spell St. Clair for me? Uh, yes, S-T-C-L-A-I-R-E. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that just okay, happened. Okay, now hold on. I can't. I can't hear you. I can't understand Holy, anything. Oh, oh my God! I. Okay, your name is what now? Uh, Giad Saint Clair. J I A D, and then Saint Clair. S T C L A I R E. Oh my God! I have never just All attacked right, and a man like that. Uh, Ebony, Roy? Ebony, please, will you please promise me that you'll tell the district manager because he's no, already on the on. phone. Okay, the, well, the, well, can, okay, while I got you on the phone, what is the number to the district? The district's name. What is his name? No, what's Go the number? number. Of the district? Because I don't appreciate him calling my phone, telling me yeah. that I had something well, I, that was I think donated I think to we're a charity. Good. I think we're good. I, he's and not going to call you and be rude ever again. I, I, oh, I, no. I, he I think I broke his that fucking I stole, nose. Oh, hold on. Hold he's on. bleeding no, 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 all no, no, over no. the place, I, Ebony. I, I, I don't care. I, I have nothing to do with that. I don't even really no, care about No, I know, that, but, but I did it for you. For him to call my phone and say that I took something... Hell, if he, if oh, he yeah, you don't deserve that shit. Sick. Fuck him. I'll do it again. You want me to go hit him again? No, I won't. I won't. Uh, um, bro, you've what released is, the okay. beast. Okay, hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my God. All right. You know what? I, I'm going to go beat the fucking shit out of Eddie and Electronics now, too, man. That guy, I, he's been stealing my fucking lunch, man. Yeah. Okay. Release the beast. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Is there a manager that I can contact in the uh, No, I am the manager. Jad St. Clair. I'm the nighttime manager. But I'm saying, for him to call me and tell me that, first off, my th- my stuff has been donated that I put in the layaway, even I know. when I purchased- No, no, no. And here's the thing. Let's work a deal. If you go ahead and tell the district manager that you heard Roy hit okay. me first, if you tell him that, I'll get you those two desks, and you know what? I'll throw I'll throw in. I got this computer you know desk what? that was returned. No, I'll I, give no, it to I you for want, free. No. no, thank you. I don't want anything for free. I don't want okay. anything. Well, I'll get you your but two back, wanna, but please, no, will you please tell on. the district manager that you heard him hello? come up and hit me first? Please, I can't lose uh, my job. Okay, hello? Can, can we get an understanding here? If I lose my job. Hello? Yeah, can no, I'm here. What's here? up? Sorry, Ebony, go ahead. I'm, I'm just trying I'm to so get an understanding. Adrenaline, and I'm going to go beat the shit out of Eddie and electronics now. Okay, I understand about your adrenaline, but this shit here makes no sense to me. For okay. him to even fucking call my phone and know, say that him. I took something off a fucking counter. I don't have a fucking reason to steal. I work my ass off every yeah, day. Yeah, that's why I beat the shit out of him, man. He's, he's bleeding so, all over okay, the place. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm trying. Where is this shit coming from is what I want to know. Because if anybody can go back and replay a fucking tape, they have coming up since, no, I haven't took shit. Oh, shit, so, the tape. Oh, Fuck, I didn't even think about the tape. The tape has me punching him right in the fucking nose. Holy shit, I'm screwed. Ebony, I am totally fucked. Okay, I, uh, what is the, uh, the manager for the morning? Uh, that his, his name is John. Okay, last name? Uh, Tinkle. John Tinkle? Tinkle? Yeah, Tinkle. Could you T-I-N- spell that? Uh, could you, okay. Uh, could yep. you, okay, I understand all that. Could you spell, uh, what is the phone number that I can contact someone in the morning? It's uh, uh-huh. three. You know what? I, if you if you're okay, because I'm gonna have the regular. I'm, no, the, I'm, with the tape, no, with I'm the not tape okay. Now, out there. Um, here's what I'm gonna do, Ebony. I'm gonna I, have I'm gonna have the actual store manager call you when he gets in. I want to know how did my name come up with saying something was taken? If you roll the fucking tapes back, you can see. I don't know. I, I didn't I look at the tapes. Roy, Roy called okay, me, so, and I punched him in so, the fucking okay, face. Okay, and, and that's what I'm saying. So where did Roy come up with this bullshit at? I don't know. I don't know. He's bleeding, and he, I think he I think he actually got in his car and Wait, left. I so, don't care about him getting in his car and leaving. That's what that's I'm what trying to clear my name. 
Okay. Now, so here's no, the thing. Here's the thing. I can't. No, I gotta. No, no, you know, I gotta I go try listen, to. I gotta listen, go try to stop listen. him from calling the cops. So listen, Ebony. Listen. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have my manager call you. No, when no, he comes no, in, okay? no, 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 no. I have no time. No, no. That's not gonna work. Okay. Can I have the district manager's number? Hey, Giad. Giad, I'm back. Guess what? I'm back. Hey, Roy. Guess get what? Out of here. Guess what? I have in my hand here. What? Looks a little like a hand pistol, doesn't it, motherfucker? Get away from me. Come on. Come on. What the hell kind of shit is this? Hello? Uh. Hello? So that happened on Carlito's show. The only way that could have been more perfect... Is if Giad was like, tell my wife I love her, before he died at the end. So I, I was trying to get Giad's attention in the chat room for, for, for a minute or two before I showed up with a gun. And I didn't think he was seeing me. So that's the reason I said, hey, looks like I have a handgun or a hand pistol. I was trying to make sure that Giad knew what I was doing. It's getting ready to play gunshot sound effects. I don't really tell people when I'm getting ready to kill them. I don't, I'm not like, hey... Look at this hand pistol I have in my hand that I'm getting ready to shoot you with. Nope, not me. I just I just shoot them, and they're dead. I'm a lot more efficient in real life than I am in this prank call. People have been making fun of me in the chat room all weekend for saying that. Oh, and I can't remember who it was. Either Baz or Dwight told me that they called her back. I think maybe the next day, and uh, they had a talk with that lady, with Ebony, again. And she was just as upset the second time around. I've heard. I haven't actually heard it myself. And I don't know where it's located, but hopefully it will turn up soon and I can hear that one. Wow, we're over an hour already. I guess that's going to do it for this show. I guess in order to comply with uh, that ABC or NBC or whatever it was, lawyer and his cease and desist, we're going to cue up the Incredible Hulk sad music and talk about what we learned today. And of course, the most important thing I've learned is that you need to donate to the Joy Bubbles kickstarter campaign which is linked in the show notes and after that if you have a few cents left over maybe a dollar or whatever you should donate to pcn's save a family's christmas fundraiser thing but most of your money should go to joy bubbles that's the really important thing here joy bubbles documentary has to be made in addition to that though i learned that you can call up a 7-eleven and get a customer to push the button on the coffee makers And for some reason, I never thought of that before. It's such an obvious thing. I mean, I've gone into 7-Elevens before, and I've hit the buttons on their coffee makers just to make them overflow, because I'm an asshole. But I never thought about getting them to do it over the phone, so that needs to happen more often from now on. We're going to make customers walk over to the coffee makers, and we're going to make them turn on all the coffee makers, not just one of them. They're going to overflow all of them. So if one good thing came out of the whole Pranksgiving thing, It would be that, that we are going to make people overflow coffee pots, and it's going to be hilarious. And then I learned that fights can be hilarious on the phone, getting punched in the face. Getting punched in the face over the phone is much more enjoyable than getting punched in the face in real life. That's a really good lesson that I learned in this episode. And and that's another thing that needs to happen more often in pranks. With or without me, those types of pranks need to happen more often. So from now on, when somebody says, can I speak to a manager? You need to put a manager on the phone, and then the manager needs to kick your ass. We need to get some sound effects for that. We need to get some breaking glass. And, you know, you know the cat noise, <laughs> where you fall on a cat, and the cat makes the noise, and it's hilarious. We definitely need to do more fighting pranks. That's what I've learned in this episode. Fighting pranks that end in homicide. I hope all of you learned as much as I did. Goodbye, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. Happy Cyber Monday. And rest in peace, Jayad slash Giad. <laughs> <laughs>